In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make a symmetrical image with clean lines from a rough sketch. Start by drawing out a rough design. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to fix it later. The technique I'm going to show you uses Adobe Illustrator. I haven't used any other programs to do this, but if you don't have Illustrator, I'm sure that there are other options out there that have similar functions. Once you have your rough sketch finished, take a picture of it or scan it and upload it to your computer. Create a new document and then label the default first layer with the letter Y, as in Y axis. This will become important in a moment. Then create a new layer and label this one X, as in X axis. Note that the color indicator for this layer is red. With your Y layer selected, choose the pen tool and then draw a vertical line from the top to the bottom of your canvas. Illustrator has convenient guides that will indicate if you're in the center of the canvas when you draw your line. The word intersect will appear in magenta when you hover your mouse over the correct location. Then choose your X layer and do the same thing for the horizontal line. Select the entirety of the X layer by clicking the open circle in the layer window. Then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then choose Transform. Check the Reflect X box, and for number of copies, enter 1. Next, create a new layer. Open the photo of your sketch, and then copy it to the clipboard. Go back to your canvas, and with layer 3 selected, paste in your copied sketch. Double-click layer 3, and then check the box to dim images by about 50%. Make layer 3 the bottom layer by dragging it beneath your other two. You can now use any of your preferred drawing tools to start tracing your sketch. For this example, I'm going to keep it very simple and stick mainly with the pen tool. I also like to hide the x-axis line. Make sure to always keep your x layer selected because this is the one that we will be drawing on. Next, use the pen tool to click along the lines of your sketch that you would like to trace. You only have to do this on one side because it is mirrored automatically on the other. Note that each line that I create is highlighted in red, indicating that I am drawing on the X layer. If you see that your lines are highlighted in a color other than that of your X layer, you will have to go back and select it. I then use the curvature tool to further refine my lines. This is done by simply clicking the line with the curvature tool selected and dragging the line in the direction you want the curve to go. If you have a tablet, you can also just use the brush tool, but I find that unless you're an expert at drawing perfectly curved lines, this way is actually quite a bit faster. Now simply go about your sketch, tracing and refining all of the lines. It's really easy in Illustrator to accidentally select the wrong layer. Just make sure that you're always drawing on layer X. For simple shapes, such as these circles, I just use the shape tool, copy and paste, and adjust the size as I go. When you want to create a shape that's on the center line, it's easier to create it off the line and then drag it in.
And that just about wraps it up for this tutorial. Hopefully this information was helpful and you can use it to create some really cool artwork.